It's making music, making music, just what I love, my passion. Wow, my defining moment, man. I, I was doing promotion for my first album, and all of a sudden I saw Jose Feliciano getting a manicure in Puerto Rico in this place, and I found the courage in me just to walk in and say, Jose, I, I'm your biggest fan. To my surprise, he said, you know, you, you're Rudy, you're signed to RCA. And I said, yeah, and, I, and he goes, I know your music. As a matter of fact, there's a song on your album that I would like to record on my next album. And I almost fainted. He handed me a guitar and says, play me some more songs. So I played him a couple of songs and he just loved them and kept loving everything that I said to him. He has this, this particular rocking thing that he does and he gets up from the bed like this and he goes, Rick, turns to his manager. This is the guy that I've been waiting for. This guy is gonna be my producer and my songwriter from now on. And, and Rick, his manager, Hanson at the time says, Jose, well, let, you know, let's take this slowly, one day at a time. You just met Rudy. And he said, Rick, if you can't see this kid's talent, you're the only blind person in this room. And that was it. That, you know, I think that defining moment in all that career is uh, owed in, in a great, 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 uh, um, you know, amount to, to the great Jose Feliciano. Right. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. Jose, it. how you doing, man? Good, man. man. How are you? Oh, how are you, my brother? Oh, man. Now, let me tell wow. you something, my friend. Huh? No, that's, huh? that's amazing, man. It's great I can't see. believe you guys did this. How, you, you brought the great Jose Feliciano. Jose, thank you for being here, man. I'm Come on and join here. me here, man. I am so happy to have you here and have everybody get to know a little <clears throat> bit of, of your defining moment. The man. defining moment was when RCA sent me to Argentina and I said, Please let me do an album of boleros. All of a sudden, Jose Mania in Argentina, the screaming girls running into limousines. You know what, Rudy, there's nothing funnier than to see a blind man trying to run into a limousine. <laughs> you know? I mean, it, 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 it was something. And in 68, as you had wanted me to mention, mm -hmm. even though it was a bittersweet moment, uh -huh. was when I stylized the national anthem. were people who liked it, but the majority didn't like it. They said, they thought, what's Jose doing with our national anthem? The radio station stopped playing me. It's funny because now today everybody does it like you. Everybody went well, back. Well, they tried to. <laughs> they tried to, exactly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. for having me. Thank you, Jose. Okay, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Después de lo vivido, otro amigo encontrarán. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm so, I am so moved by having Jose sing this. You guys don't understand. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Record the track in the studio and let your father do his production work on it. 